Hello, my name is Rudy. In this uh, VL Wizard tutorial, I will explain how to use this software to modify a Patchman voice. Patchman voices cannot be loaded into the VL Wizard. Although technically possible, it has been requested by Patchman Music uh, not to allow this feature. More details on this on my website. But you can still modify a um, Patchman voice, uh, more uh, specifically a turbo ship uh, voice. And the way to do that uh, is explained here in this tutorial. The first thing we have to do is to select uh, a turbo chip uh, voice on the VL70 uh, and store this one into the internal memory. But before we're gonna do that, we're gonna load already a voice into the VL wizard. Th this way the editors are active. So let's do this. Let's load any kind of voice. Uh, so now the editors are active. Okay, you see that this voice is as well loaded into the VL70, but that's not important. Now, next thing we do is we're gonna go to the VL70 and we're gonna select uh, a Patchman voice. Let me do this. Oops. Voila, I have here uh, a voice. Let's select any kind of voice. Something like this, okay. Now, I have selected this voice. Now I'm gonna store this voice into the internal memory. The way to do that is to press the edit button and to navigate to the store uh, feature and then press enter and then select any kind of internal bank number so let's take here 10 and then press enter again and voila now escape okay now you see internal 010 is equal jazz b3 okay Actually, the whole voice is not stored in that bank. It's only the effect parameters and the common parameters. The internal voice is actually pointing to the preset. And the way to see that is if you press the part plus and minus button at the same time. Here you see internal voice B010 is pointing to preset 02 to uh, preset 8. Okay. So very important to understand that the uh, internal bank does not store a complete voice it only stores the effects and common parameters and it points to the uh, preset voices or to the custom voice okay so this is step one now the other thing we're gonna do I'm gonna play the voice so you hear it I'm gonna take my wind controller <coughs> Okay, that's one. Now we're gonna modify it. The first thing I do, I open the effect editor and I load an effect. A complete effect that I want. For example, let's take this one. And let's hear the difference. Play again my wind controller. Okay, not a big deal, as well the uh, volume is not that loud, so I'm gonna put the volume a little bit louder. I'll try it again. <coughs> okay, now let's start modifying the effect. First thing I'm gonna do, take one of my favorite ones, this one, I switch into system mode. Put this completely up, set here something like <coughs> room, and then here we use something like, uh, okay, gonna increase the volume a little bit here, here, now we're gonna play it again. <coughs> Okay, you already hear a big difference, right? Okay, so now we have this. You could actually select some other stuff, like for example a rotary speaker, which is probably better with this type of voice. Ok, 
okay? So that's the first thing we did. So we did overwrite all the effects of the default uh, Pachman TurboShip voice that is now loaded into the internal memory. Now we're gonna switch this off and we're gonna open the common editor. The parameters you see here are not corresponding to the parameters that are currently in the VL70. The reason why is because we initially loaded here a voice my quote, okay, while we actually loaded another voice into the VL70. So it's very important to understand that the VL wizard and the uh, VL70 are out of sync in terms of uh, voices. When the VL wizard thinks it's my quote which is in, uh, loaded into the VL70 while it's not true, okay? So, but we still can use the common part uh, system editor to uh, modify the Pachman voice, so let's do this. Uh, we're gonna make it a little bit, I change a little bit uh, the character of the voice. Let's open the filters. Okay, that's already making a little bit more fun. Now, let's link the bread to the filter. Okay, it's more funky now. Uh, so we changed the parameters of the Pachman voice, so the Jazz B3, into a more funky kind of uh, voice. Now we have to store it back into the internal memory and the way to do that, so we have modified the parameters, now we need to store them back and the way to do it is edit, press again the store, so navigate to the store, press enter, and overwrite the initial position of the uh, internal voice. So let's overwrite this. Voila, escape. And now all the parameter changes we have done are included into the internal memory. So we gonna do the test. Let's take here a voice. <laughs> So, now let's put this back. Okay, so you hear that the parameter changes we did for the common uh, par uh, parameters and the uh, effect parameters, these two here, are actually reloaded once we switch back the internal memory. Okay, so that's the way to modify a Pachman voice without even loading the uh, voice into the VL wizard. So uh, there are other tricks uh, to modify a Pachman voice without loading it into the VL uh, wizard, uh, which will be explained in uh, other tutorials. But this is uh, a basic one, so you can use that. Okay, if there is any question on uh, how to do uh, on this tutorial, feel free to uh, email me and I will uh, try to explain. Hope this was helpful. See you to the next tutorials. Bye.